Hello everybody, this is Technoli, and today we finally have the part two of the little tiny Ryzen 7 3700X made for musicians computer. So, I've got a lot of updates for you guys. I really spent some time getting this video done because I wanted to test everything. All you guys have asked me, does Studio One work? Does Logic work? Does Cubase work? Does Pro Tools work? Well, I have the answers for you. They're good and they're bad, but I got answers. Let's start out with one thing. Let's start out with some benchmarks to see how this Ryzen 7 3700X performs with this 2 gigabyte MSI GT710 graphics card. Okay, remember it has the GT710, which is just a little cheap $50 card. And we're going to see how the graphics are on this. Now, if you're going to do video editing on this machine, then of course, guys, let's upgrade to a Radeon, at least a 580 maybe, $165 card. Um, but I really love this case. I really love the size of this thing. It's really cool. Now, since this build is for a channel subscriber, he wanted me to make sure that he's going to be able to run Logic on this thing without any issues, but he wants great performance. But before we get into the DAWs, let's run Geekbench 5 on this real quick and Cinebench, and let's see where we are. Okay. So here we go, Geekbench 5, and we'll run it, and we'll be right back. Okay, wow, 1264 on a single score. Now remember, this is with this MSI card. That's crazy. Let's see, 8285 on a multi, 1264. So we're beating anything in the Mac world on a single. And on the multi, 82, 82, 82, 82. Okay, so we are right here with this iMac 2019 i9 9900K. Ah, yes. So Ryzen 7 faster than an i9 9900K. Pretty impressive so far. All right, let's go out of here. Let's run Cinebench. We all like Cinebench. We'll run it and we will come back with the results. Okay, guys, we're running it here. I wanted to show you how fast this thing is. Pretty amazing. And I wanted to let you guys know, I guess a lot of you don't realize that I do have paid tech support on the technoli.com website. So if you're having problems, you just cannot get a computer up and running, then Visit me over at technoli.com. I've got a different uh, paid support plans over there you can check out, and we'll get you up and running, okay? So we're coming down to the end of it here, and this is amazingly fast. This will be interesting. Wow, 4860. 4860. That is incredibly good. So we're right under this uh, Threadripper 1950X. Very, very cool. All right, so now you get an idea on the benchmarks compared to other systems that we've done. And we can see this is a great performer. Now, of course, if we put in a higher end graphics card in this, if you guys want to do some video editing or Lightroom stuff, then it's going to be even that much better. You really don't need to go Ryzen 9 3900. Okay. Now, let's get to the meat of the situation. Let's put this over here. Okay, guys. Now, Ryzen with our DAWs. Okay. I'm going to start with the good stuff. Logic Pro X. That's what this channel subscriber is going to be using. And I'm going to show you that it works beautifully. Okay. So here we are. I'm going to show you right here. I've also got contact, you know, native instruments 
I just downloaded one little uh, VST instrument here. So we'll go over here and we'll go to Native Instruments and we've got this little plug-in right here, VSTi, little keyboard, FM8 sounds. So Native Instruments works fine. Now let's put an effect on this. All right, so I've got Plugin Alliance. Here is Plugin Alliance. This is the SSL, yeah, 4000E. And it works beautifully, no issues, no problems. We can do everything we need to do, um, no problems at all. Now, I'm going to get to it right now. I'm going to get to it right now. What about Waves Technoly? Well, let's go over here to Waves, okay? And let's run Waves. Okay, so I want to download this Abbey Road collection, right? So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to click Install. There's the error. Please restart or contact support if repeats. Well, folks, it repeats, and it repeats, and it repeats. It will not install on Ryzen. It works on my Intel Hackintosh, but not on Ryzen. So I decided I would send Waves a tech support. I haven't heard back yet. I will let you know in the comments below when I do if they're going to support us on Ryzen Hackintosh with Waves plugins. So that really was upsetting for me, but not everybody uses Waves. There are so many free plugins out there that you don't have to have Waves plugins. This guy that I'm building this computer for doesn't use. He uses the ones that are built into Logic, and he has some others. Um, there's a lot of choices out there for plugins, so it's not all about Waves. All right. Uh, the UAD plugins worked. Uh, Plugin Alliance worked. We've got Native Instruments working. So um, I don't think it's that big a deal. But anyway, let's get into the actual benchmark of this one. We're going to run our Logic Pro test that we always run on these. And I'm not going to save this. So we're going to load this up. You know that we've got a software instrument. I'm going to show you here. We've got a synthesizer on every channel. This is a MIDI. These are MIDI tracks, right? So we've got the synth on all channels, and we've got these fly, five plugins. We've got the channel EQ, the multiplier, the chorus, the filter, and a plate reverb on each track. All right, let's go out of here. And now I've got 50 tracks selected right now. I'm going to go over here and show you what I have for preferences. Okay, so I've got it set to 128. Let's go crazy. Let's put it at 64, the buffer size. And apply those changes. And let's go over to recording. We are at 24-bit recording. And I've got it set to 44. Let's put it at 48K. All right, sample rate. So we'll go out of here. Let's go ahead and play. Oh, let me get your meter. Let me get your load meter. All right. So we got 50 tracks and we've got five plugins on each track. All right, let's go. Ah, yes. Very much like the i9-9900K. Less than 50% usage on all those threads. So I think that's quite amazing, wouldn't you? Can we go to 100 tracks? Can we get 100 out of this little processor, this little build here? $775 build. Okay, let's back it up. Let's hit it. Okay, so we're running at about 85% on all of those except one thread that's sitting down there doing nothing which is common with uh, logic so there's a hundred tracks guys can we max it out to 128 let's just try it 
I don't think we can, but let's let's give it a go. All right, play. We peaked. You can hear the little synthesizer sound there in the background. It's holding. It is holding. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is identical to the i9-9900K Intel on this test. 128 tracks with a synth on every track. These are MIDI tracks. I am totally impressed. That is awesome. All right, so Logic. We're good to go. We don't need to worry about Logic. It's going to work. Let's jump over to Pro Tools. Will it load? Will Pro Tools load on this thing? On a Ryzen Hackintosh? Hmm. Let's see. So far, so good. Now, guys, I do not know Pro Tools. Okay, so bear with me. Don't get upset with me if I'm not doing something right or whatever. Well, there it is. I loaded up a click track on all the tracks just to see if it would work. And no issues at all. No pain, no suffering. Okay, let's go up here to a track and new. And let's do a mono track. Let's do an audio track. All right, create one. All right, here it is. Now, let's go ahead and plug in. Ah, look at this. Contact is showing up. Look at this. My SSL is showing up. Does it work? Is it incredible? Yes, guys. Pro Tools does seem to work just fine on this. I've had it open for a couple of days. No issues, no crashes. Um, it is working. Here is that contact BSTI. Making noise and everything. All right. So Pro Tools, we can give a thumbs up to Pro Tools working on our Ryzen Tosh. Okay. All right. Let's go out of here. What else do we have? Ah, we have Studio One. Well, let's run Studio One version 4. And it's loading up that contact instrument. Let's create a new song, an empty song. All right, so there we go. I got instruments here. Here's my contact instruments. There is my FM8. Drag it over here. And there it is. It just made my MIDI track. Okay, so that's working. Yep, this does work, guys. Um, no problems with Studio One, okay? Everything seems to function fine. Plugins are showing up. I can also go into console mode and show you guys some inserts. All right, so we've got inserts, no problem, sends. We can add buses, of course, no problems. Uh, let's pull this up a little bit. Okay, let's uh, change, let's add another one. Let's see, plug-in alliance, uh, clean sweep. Yeah, that's working. So everything is working good, guys. No issues, no issues at all. Studio One version four, let's quit. All right. Last but not least, Cubase. Fail. It won't run, guys. It's just like waves. It will not load all the way. Watch this. It's loading the VSTs right now. And then it gets here, and it gives us this error. Why? I don't know why. I have not talked to their support team, but I would say if you're going to run Cubase on a Hackintosh, you better stick with Intel. 
if you're going to have to use your Waves plugins that you've got thousands of dollars invested in, you're going to have to stick with Intel. So, moral of the story, yes, you get more bang for the buck out of a Ryzen, for sure. This is a cute little box. We don't need a high-end graphics card for audio. Great little system, very inexpensive, and gives you tons of power. Tons of power, as we have seen here, as compared to an Intel. But there are a few restrictions. So, I don't know, guys. What do you think in the comments below? Is it better to just stick with a lower-powered Intel? Or do you want a high-powered Ryzen? and run your software on it and get more bang for the buck. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys? Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. We just passed 14,000 subscribers. Thanks to all of you. All of you guys make this possible. Not me, all of you. Because if you didn't like my videos, then it wouldn't matter what I did. Thanks again. We've got a lot of videos coming. I'm doing a lot of channel subscriber builds right now. I've got a monster build coming up soon that you guys are going to freak on. So pretty exciting stuff coming. So we will see you on the next video.